Rio Elements Direct Modeling 20.6 enhances the ability to create multilingual drawings using the annotation module. Based on user feedback, the following four enhancements are made available in this new version, enriching the set of capabilities initially introduced in Creo Elements Direct 20.5. Number 1. Administrators can manage the table ID and table version of the multi-language table from within the multi-language table user interface dialog. Previously, these two settings had to be modified manually in the table file using a text editor. Number two, you can change the predefined language labels to a user-defined language. This enables you to use and manage languages that are not part of the out-of-the-box configuration. In the shown example, the out-of-the-box language label is changed to Dutch. This label will then also show changed for the corresponding column header in the multi-language table user interface and in the lists available to specify the primary and secondary languages of a drawing. Number three. You can access the multi-language table more quickly by using the right mouse menu command insert multi-language text from within text fields or by using the shortcut key Control m Number 4. Multi-language text blocks can now span several lines. When defining multi-language text blocks, you can use the keyword NL to indicate a line break within the text block for a given language. This gives you more flexibility in the formatting of the multi-language information within annotations. All these enhancements make it even easier to use multilingual drawings in Creo Elements Direct Modeling 20.6 to communicate drawing-centric information within a multilingual ecosystem.